Hello and welcome to today's podcast, which is part one of the sales success series. Today, I'd like to talk about how to break your sales records. So if you want to break your sales record in your organization, or even maybe in the entire industry, there's a few things that you need to take into consideration. And there's a few things to also consider given to what's happening right now, and given how the business arena is completely changing after the COVID-19 situation. So what I would like to discuss today is five steps you can take to truly achieve sales success. So here we go. Step number one, you need to be prepared to change. If you're thinking of breaking sales records, it's probably because you're already great at doing sales and you've already achieved great results. However, it is possible or maybe sometimes impossible to break sales records simply by what you did uh, or what you're going to do tomorrow uh, based on what you did yesterday. So there's going to be uh, some steps that you need to consider in order to do things differently. Um, you need to do something quite different and you need to really take it to the next level and beyond. Step number two is make sure that you research. Do a lot of research. What is working? What is not working? What has had worked and what is not working? what's going on right now with your clients contact them speak to them understand the challenges so breaking sales records means excelling at every sales skill go through your organization and find people who are the best at each skill learn how they think and how they execute that skill then incorporate that best practice in your own toolkit by writing down what you have learned Study it and practice it every single day. Remember to sort of combine all of this with the research about what kind of challenges and what new needs and requirements your clients are looking for. Number three, measure your behavior. I think this is a great step to truly understand what you need to understand uh, in order for you to take it to the next level. So no matter how committed you are, you will relapse into your old behaviors unless your new skills are reinforced therefore you need to figure out a way to measure each of your new skills and behavior so that you know exactly how you're doing if your enthusiasm starts flagging come up with a reward process that will reinforce the right behavior number four keep evolving as you measure Examine what's working and what's not. Continually find areas where you can improve your skills. Look for additional role models. Keep reading up on sales techniques. Experiment. Find ways to use downtime to improve your selling skills. And I think now more than ever, we have a lot of time on our hands and we should really take every single step to ensure that we are evolving, learning and improving. So treat yourself like a top athlete and then be your own coach. And finally, step five, don't stop. Top athletes come in two varieties. The one hit wonders who have a great season and then rest on their laurels. And the all-time champion that breaks records after record after record. The champions know that if they set the bar higher and continue with basic training, reinforcement, measurement, and correction, they'll be, uh, they'll be able to continue to achieve at their highest level. I hope these tips were useful. Please stay tuned for part two on achieving sales success. I hope you stay healthy, you stay safe, and most of all, stay positive.